Hi, I'm Brent from Season 9 of Maths, and we're here now ranking the current contestants on the show, uh, ranking all the couples. We'll have some fun with this. For obvious reasons that I shouldn't have to actually state, Taylor is going here. Poor Hugo, obviously. There. Taylor knows no boundaries of ripping him apart. Secondly, as much as it was entertaining, poor Bronte, good old old mate. <laughs> now, I'm supposed to be ranking. You know, obviously the relationship isn't gonna work, but I'm gonna have a little fun with this one because I can't help myself. And because I think it's just safe to say that we should at least... I mean, enough said, right? Uh, I'm sorry, but she got under my skin. Alyssa, if she does not like pull it together, she's going to lose Duncan, who right now seems like he's a really great guy, understanding, um, quite patient, and the heartthrob of the show. Let's be honest. I can admit, he's a good looking bloke. So next will definitely have to be, sorry Claire, I love you darling, but Mr. I want the whole world to feel sorry for me. While I don't condone cheating, I think he's milking this for everything that he has. Unfortunately, people, if you sh** your partner for long enough, they may just uh, go behind your back and do something silly. Next. Well, this one's a little personal, right? Because I've been in trouble in relationships before of not being able to hug my partner when they're angry or when I'm angry, right? It's like you have to switch in the middle of a fight and you just have to be happy and it's not convincing. It just doesn't feel right. I get in trouble for this, so I'm gonna throw myself under the bus with that one, but let's try it anyway. So, Lindor and Cameron. I just see chinks in the armor and I've got a feeling that they are, it's breaking away. Next, look, I like them. I actually like these two. Genuinely like them. Melinda for calling out all the bullshit. They argue, but at least they have a mature way of coming to, you know, an understanding that they both can agree to. And they do look after each other in there. At the very least, they are trying. Respect. Okay, I don't know if this should be second or then maybe I should have gone with them first. But let's just say, <laughs> they seem to be doing all right. But good old Evelyn. And let, let's, let's be honest, right? Evelyn's a very good looking girl. Poor Rupert. <laughs> Bless his little heart and his cotton socks. Um, I don't know if he had been able to handle her for a long period of time, but they're doing all right so far, and he seems to come out of his shell a little bit. Don't lie, you didn't butt doll anyone. You know that was a lie. Come on, guys. And number one, if these two don't stay together, then I'm starting to lose hope in what relationships really are, because they are lovely. Uh, two lovelies up here, all right? Ollie and Tani. Now, if they're not together, I would be very upset, and I might actually, free of charge, become their counselor, because I actually want them to stay together. Please. I was proud. All right, these are my rankings for week six of the current cast. Beautiful. Please.